Hello and welcome to the Club 12 podcast. You're here with me, Dave and Jamie. It's been a good week for the D's, Jamie. Yeah, it's been another good week. Uh, good week in the League Cup. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, thanks to our sponsor, uh, King Kong Tattoo Company, Albert Square Dundee, for all your tattoo and piercing needs. Yep. Have you got your Kinesia tattoo yet? Nah, not yet. It's not in, yet. It's in the pipeline. It's in the pipeline. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, we've also got our uh, Facebook and Instagram pages up and running. Yeah, do it. You do can it. catch us at The Club 12 Podcast on both of those wonderful social media sites. Um, as of yet, we're not on OnlyFans and that's not going to happen. Nah, no, yeah, it's not got that bad. No, nah, um, definitely not. Nah. Right, okay, League Cup. Yeah. Is your name on the League Cup? How many times have we said League <laughs> Cup in this past couple of weeks? Okay, right, so I tell you what, let's start with Stranraer. Good result. It was a good result. Was yeah. A great result. Um, we were dominant, like, we should be beating Stranraer. Kind of everybody knows we should be beating Stranraer, but to go down there, 15 or 18 shots, I think we had about 5 on target, 3 goals, clean sheets, Sorry, if we did asked that, if we'd been offered that before the game, everybody would have took that. You had a better hand after that, yeah. right? Uh, that was an expected yeah. win, and I, I'm glad we got it. it seemed comfortable. And yeah. um, Queens Park, you kind of thought they were going to be dark horses for the league, but kind of pumped them. <laughs> I mean, okay, it was only two one, but uh, nah, Queens Park. They were like, the first half. I thought we, uh, we did we absolutely pumped them. Um, the second half, they came in and they were decent. Um, but sorry, just just going back on that, uh, Stranraer, we were, like the first goal for example, right, so you've got, um, sorry, not the first goal, well, the first goal was Kanna Kerr, Kerr's, he's, we're saying that nearly every week, he's, ever he's, since he's it, he's turning in at James Tavernier the season he's saying, eh? Ever since I mentioned him that first week, it's like he's listened and took it in, so if he has, <laughs> sorry Kami, um but I'm glad he's, uh, he's playing brilliant. Um, the second goal as well, it was a good wee bit of play. We were watching it, I remember when yeah. I think it was Gowser. Does Gowser finish it off in the end, but it's a good wee flick and we're playing some decent football. Um the last goal against Stranraer was McKillen, that's when he cuts in for the right and just dinks it uh, dinks it, sorry, uh, puts it in the corner. Um but everybody's saying that we're doing really well with set pieces and what are. Uh, I but, think I think on that goal that McGowan scored I think it was Kami, he put a brilliant band in the box. Uh, like he just sort of dinked it in with the outside of his foot, like say. So uh, well uh, impressed with that. So now nah, we were we were good. And as I said, everybody's saying that we're we're scoring a lot of set pieces and corners. And we are looking dangerous for that. But if we could go down there, and I think Kami's first one was a set piece, but the other two weren't The other two were great goals. Um so nah, nah, really happy about that. But um at eh, eh, Queen's Park, sorry, so I'm rambling on. Um, <laughs> First half we gave them a good doing. I thought Yakubiak hmm, could have done a wee bit better. He got his goal, which is uh, I'm not going to hear goal because he did get his goal and he's scoring nearly every time. He had a great play. opportunity just before it though, right? Uh, and he let the boy come back and uh, catch him. Centre half falls in his arse and Kim, what it's a good wee nutmeg he gets on the last defender to actually get himself through and get that chance. Um, but uh, he just takes too long and the boy comes and eventually gets the clearance in. Um, I thought going in, like, because I was watching the game and I was keeping an eye on Yakubiak uh, specifically, and when the bar went in on, he just couldn't hold it up. He, he was not, but he, but he got his goal, so so I'm alright with that. Um, but now Queens Park, I, I didn't expect him there for them. Well, uh, uh, you kind of said that in the last podcast that like you thought they'd be dark horses, mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna lie, I thought they might give you a bit of a, a sterner test. And okay, it was only two one. Yeah, it probably should have been a bit more comfortable. But we'll, we'll tack that. Yeah. Um, far far up next in the League Cup. But you'd, you're thinking as well. I mean, looks like we're going to qualify. We'll, we'll get to was. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But you think we've got to be beating far far? Yeah, yeah. No um, disrespect to far far, but nah, we've they, got to be beating them about three or four. Uh, no disrespect to Gary Harkins either, because can uh, everybody loves Gary Harkins. So uh, there's no there's no one again yet. They've, they've been beat for Abdi, but the the, the drew sorry um, and the, they got the bonus point. On, on penalties, but they've not won a game yet. I don't think they've. I don't, did they? Eh, eh, eh. Well, they've got two points anyway, so. Oh, right, okay. Uh, they must have got, I'm pretty sure got, uh, sh- they got that bonus point. I thought they got shafted too. I must have looked at that. They probably did. So, eh. Eh, actually, they didn't hear a lot of players. I had to be look at their their website. By the way, Farford, get your website updated. Jesus Christ. Uh, sh- that's a nightmare trying, looking at that, eh? Trying to scroll through that. Oh, that was sure. Um, but uh, they've got, how many players is it they've got on their website? About, about 40. I, I stopped. Couldn't and after scrolling for a bit of uh, <laughs> And two of them are Gary Harkins and Gary Irving. Uh, they registered as player, uh, well, player, player manager. Um, oh, it'd be great to see them. 
Okay, I might actually win there because we'd probably uh, Gary probably Irvin would score. Uh, I don't think Gary Irvin would score. I would, uh, I would like to see Gary Irvin start right back for him. That'd be pretty good. I tell you, I've, I've got a, a memory of Gary Irvin. I don't know if you remember when I had done this site, but I used to play a wee bit of championship manager. Oh, I remember. On the, on the laptop. I remember. I had that. So anyway, we played Wraith and I think it was in the cup. And Gary Irvin scored the worst OG ever. I'm sure it was the keeper's fault. I can't remember who the keeper was. But anyway, I got him for the match and I went him and sell Gary Irvin at my Dundee team. <laughs> I remember that match. It was fucking raging. I was like, you know what? That shouldn't have fucking happened. He's getting sold. Boom. Right, and it was a lot of wraith for like sweetie money. Anyway, I'm not sorry about that, Gary Irvin. No. Anyway, uh, did, uh, so I, I didn't kind of for two of them will play. Maybe if they're struggling for players. Um, uh, nah, we expect us especially because the game's at Dens as well, is it? Because um, we were we were got to can to go up there. And uh, well, you were wanting a bloody get you? some munch. Uh, oh. um, but nah, we should get uh, like four wins out of four. Top of the group will be seeded as well, which means we'll avoid the likes of sell like Rangers for one round at least. Uh, um, well, so, I uh, suppose I tell you one thing I do like about far for this season is the straps. The mm. strips are banging. Ah, you showed me it before the game. Ah, they're ah. kind of the dark blue we this kind of light blue stretchy panel in the front. Yeah. But I was uh, I told you a guy I worked with, he he coaches up at Forth mm-hmm. and he was saying some of the fans didn't like it. There's no enough sky blue in the strip for them. Fucking <laughs> guy. It's pure banging, it's a brilliant strip. Yeah, they- uh, uh, to be honest with you. If that was your strip, I had the Dundee badge on it instead of Farford, I'd be quite happy with that. Uh, it's quite nice. Uh, you hate to keep the Farford fans happy because there's only about 20 of them turn up every week. Uh, you the thought that they would have probably had a say in the uh, strip. I also, I went to this, so I used to work at that insurance company I worked at in Perth, right? We're not saying their name because they're scumbags, right? <laughs> anyway, I, I'd organised some Jolly Boys days out and any of the days we went out to was Farford v Stirling Albion, right? Oh. So basically what happened was Abdi paid me for the bus but they didn't care whether they were going until the morning that they turned up. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> so there was a bus at us left by Perth, and guys, where are we going? I was like, Farfur v Stirling Albion. So we turned up to the Farfur Stirling Albion match. Ah, we're in Bermuda shirts and daft hats <laughs> and that. And uh, I think Abby was like, what's what's going on here, Ken? It's like, well, just thought we'd hate day with the football. <laughs> the weird thing was, right, and obviously because it didn't really go to lower league football, see, at half time, the fans just swapped ends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Can't have seen them doing that. I brought, hey, Kevin, Hertz and Rangers, are, uh, uh, Hertz and Rangers, I was like, oh, can we just swap the Hertz and fans to the other end of the ground? We are shooting down that way. Uh, we want to swap. <laughs> you can get away with that, so I think there's a couple of grounds that we are going to uh, next season that you can get away with that. I can, is it Alwa? Are they in our league, actually? They're not. No, they're, oh, no, no. they're shite. Uh, uh, they're shite. But you could do that at Alwa. Do, do you know what I was surprised with? Right, one of the grounds was uh, Queen of the South. You could still get a fan with the back. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> You see, Abdi's out like, puffing away on their they're, flag. They're grounds that should be written down. So there's a couple of them, right? You can get a flag at, I want to say, Kilmarnock. Well, we'll not be playing them. Aberdeen. We're not playing them either. Um, Wraith we're playing Wraith well to be fair we really shouldn't be encouraging people to smoke no no actually we shouldn't have. sorry no. I'm forgetting we're on a podcast so, uh, so don't go away games <laughs> no if you're a smoker avoid the games at all sorry right, anyway let's get back to the league cup just one thing on the smoking right sorry right if there's one stand in the world you think you'd be able to get a flag with it nobody the dairy the back of the dairy right you're, you're outside on the top of a hill in and the middle of the nail uh, it's got a Wraith uh, that's, I think that's what no, it is. What about the outside bit beside one? Oh, right, the, the back. Yeah, the, uh, the food and everything, and, and the yeah. one lassie's toilet is. <laughs> um, but eh, uh, uh, sorry. Anyway, did a smoke. Right, okay. So, uh, the League Cup, right, is, is, it's looking good. Mm-hmm. Um, but hope, we're qualified. Let's, let's, like, unless there's a massive. Ch- Actually, no, I think we're still through, regardless. We'll, we'll be scoring this game. No. But it'll be good to win and get the seed in. Yeah. Now, here's a wee, wee start for you. See the last two times that we've made it to the League Cup final? Mm-hmm. We've been in the lower league. We've, we've not been in the top flight. All right, okay. So, when we played Aberdeen in the 90s, we were in the first division. Right. And when we played United in the, it was 80-81, we were in the first division then as well. That's not bad. So I think that's a good sign. Well, yeah, but we've been in the first division quite a lot in my life, and I've not seen we get to a League Cup final. Well, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a wee bit positive, I suppose. Um, but, yeah, look, if, uh, I think you were on about it earlier, even though they are treated like friendlies, right? 
if you could get four wins out of four in these League Cup games, you're a top seeder in the last 16 for, for the Cup. Uh, and then that's got to be an incentive in itself. And I think Gary Boyer's been saying that for him because the way that they've been playing, they've, they've been playing good. Uh, and I'm thinking, even if you get a Premiership team, right, in this next round, the end of the ends that Emily did, they've not been on top form. No. Nah. You've got to fancy yourself to go and hit a goal. Yeah, yeah. I would. I mean, I'd quite happily play any of them. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of big teams that are going out the League Cup as well. So, St Mirren are, I think, out. St Mirren are out. They're not getting back in. Hibs um, are on a sugly peg. So, Hibs, what, so what happened with Hibs? You were, you were on a bit Right, so it's up. just, it's uh, it come up earlier on that... Um, They've been not well. They've not been knocked out of the league cup, right? So what's happened is they fielded an eligible player mm-hmm. against Morton, mm-hmm. um, and I think they drew one all, and Morton beat them on penalties. So I think what would happen is Morton would be awarded a three 0 win. Yeah. Now Hibs have already played four matches, which means that they'll only have six points. Falkirk will be up there already a point ahead of them. I think they're on seven points right now. So that put them uh, but that's four. what I mean though. If it turns if it yeah, reverts yeah. to a three 0 they'll go, they'll drop back down to six. So I right, she'll be that. And I'm not quite sure what the implications are for Morton. They might have a slim chance of going through. Mm-hmm. Well you take Morton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean I, I, would I rather play Hibs or Morton? And to be honest with you, it right. doesn't I don't really care. No. No, me neither. Me neither. So I'm just gonna sell like a Rangers. <laughs> well, you've kinda got a bit then at some point. Uh, but you, you hope that somebody else beats another in on the way. Yeah. Uh, like the, the base, the tar- in, each, in each another, tar- each other, and then get Aberdeen in the next round. That's how I think we were on about it. Though. Uh, I think it was just me and you on doing the podcast. If they just done for the cup a random draw, right? So for the group stages, for example, there's no top seeds. There's no if you go. Just Aberdeen in a pot. Yeah, uh, right. Even <laughs> if you go, even if you go into Europe. It doesn't matter, you're still in the League Cup, so yeah. could you imagine like the, the Group A, right? Celtic, Rangers, Aberdeen, Hibs and Morton. Can? Because Celtic and Rangers, mind you, they might go through, but that's still tacking a couple of decent ends out. And if they get each other later on as well, eh, they, they should they should, they well, the should just put the names in a hat instead of Abdi. Because you kind of, like with the Euros and the World Cup, you you can kind of who's going to get who after the quarters and the semi. It makes it boring, eh? It, eh? Well, it doesn't make it boring, but eh. it would be more fun if they just pulled the desert. Eh. Just, eh. See, I think the same about Europe as well. Mm-hmm. Can, like, there's, I can why they do the league format and that, right? You get more games, there's more money, okay, I understand that. It's just better. Yeah. Cup, is it? Can. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, League Cup, I'm kind of hoping that we're, we're going to be in a good chance. Hopefully, if we get a good draw, and then, uh, 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 folks sure. say, oh, you want a home draw. Do, you, uh, I don't know. do we really want a home draw? I kind of want an away day. I want an away day. Uh, I, I'd want, it depends who it is. It depends yeah. who it is, but uh, first choice. Of course, it's going to be mid-week as well, so you know really want an No. It's a long drive. Mind you, if you... If you're getting them in the quarter final, you're wanting on. <laughs> Mind you, they look like they're away at top of group. Are they don't top of the group. Uh, they are. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I think so. I think uh, we'd get them. Um, but uh, now we're looking good. And um, the Queen's Park game as well. I thought the way French looked very good. So I, I watched the full game. And um, two games in a row. I think that him and Sweeney have started together as well. And French, he doesn't. Have, like he's no, he's not huge. He looks quite wee standing next to Sweeney. To be honest with you. Um, but aye, he gets stuck in on the ball. He was driving, and it reminded me of Sheffield United when they had the. Might I say to you, them overlapping centre halves? He was mm-hmm. like, he was driving, and when he was passing the ball and moving, he was running up the park. Can okay? and obviously I wouldn't encourage him to do that every single week. Um, but he he looks like an actual ball playing centre half. Can okay? and Sweeney's made the the brute if, if that makes sense. Um, but they looked they looked pretty decent together. Um, Marshall, I thought, again, was he caused Queen's Park to bother, especially in that first mm. half. I've not heard any more about the transfer, because apparently he was in, or somebody had put in a bid for him, or, but then again, I might have read that, and it's Philly, it's Philly's all the shit. It's so. like Nelms has just wiped his arse with that, eh? Yeah. hell nothing about that. Yeah. Um, no, but I'd, I'd keep Marshall, I, he, he did, I'm not going to be too critical on him, but he did cost with the goal against Queen's Park, it's the only time where the defence actually broke, Marshall just went a wee bit ahead and the ball got put in. Um, there's always questions on defensively, but that's that's how right. There's going to be questions over defensively. We're done, deep. Okay? <laughs> um, we're no, but going forward, he's he's a decent player. I hope we keep him. Well, I've seen uh, 
Gary Boyer's interview as well. Um, mm-hmm. So, well, a couple of things about it. First thing is, do you think he's got COVID? Do you know how many times he coughed? Uh, yeah. Gary, <laughs> excuse me, Boyer. Uh, Gary, um, <laughs> excuse me again, Boyer. Uh, <laughs> sorry so, about that. I hope you're feeling all right, Gary. He's, uh, so, I hope Gary's all right, first and foremost. Um, didn't they see the boy Billy Barr? Hopefully, he's not coughing in the changing room as well. Um, but nah, he's, uh, I'm, I'm liking Gary Boyer. I'm um, the mayor, the mayor of CEO one, the mayor interviews he does. He speaks quite honestly as well. Yeah. He did call Dens the Dens. I quite like that. Uh, he yeah, was like there, that. Can. He was like, yeah, we'll, t- we'll, we'll go back to the Dens <laughs> play for her. Can. He might need to. A... That's what we should call the new stadium, the Dens. The Dens. Uh, 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 that's Well, it depends. We'll see if, if he wins with a League Cup, we'll call it the Dens. If he wins with a League Cup, we'll call it the Gary, <laughs> Gary Boyer <laughs> fucking arena. Um, but no, I do. I like, I like the way he speaks and goes about his business and... So he brought in the boy Ben Williamson for the Rangers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't care overly much about him, to so, be fair. I didn't care much about him until I'd done a wee bit of research on him. So obviously, he's middle of the park. He came on against Queen's Park. I think he's middle of the park. Um, he's been at this, so this is his fourth home in about a year and a half, two years. Because he went a while, so obviously he's came through at Rangers. He's went a while at Arbroath, played a wee bit at Arbroath, um, went back to Rangers. He's then went a bit of Livy. And his loan was cut short for God knows what, fuck knows. Um, and then he's went back to Rangers and then he went to Wraith last year. And I think that's when we've clocked him because apparently for Wraith he was pretty decent. He only played about 14 or 13 games and got a couple of goals. Um, but I think the middle of the park, we, we, like, we need goals from the middle of the park. Right. Um, and he seems, seems pretty decent. You've seen a few good boys for Wraith before. I, well, love I mean, technically he's not for Wraith, but we'll, we'll count that. Ian Davidson. Yeah. Nacho Novo. Oh, Keith Wright for your time <laughs> and I remember Nacho Novo I remember I'm pretty sure it was it was it no Nazar so Nazar had a dog called uh, Nacho oh ah, that's right, right yeah. a rocker called Nacho and then when Nacho Novo signed for Rangers he was heartbroken and he changed his dog name to Sancho for Brett <laughs> Sancho <laughs> did he actually I'm sure he did <laughs> no, just a wee vicious rumour nah I'm sure he did I'm sure he'd tell me maybe he did, I was just nah he did he did <clears throat> grass Nazar maybe he could tell her Mm. But no, I'm sure he did that. Um, but eh, uh, a um, couple of good boys for Wraith. Um, i trying to think of another name. John Baird, did we get John Baird for Wraith? Uh, he was alright, he wasn't too good. He was gaff. Uh, he was, he was gaff. Um, eh, so, <clears throat> Gary Boyer mentioned he was looking at other signings as well. Striker. Yeah, um, and I think we need to apologise as well, because last week when we were on about the strikers, we threw me Lyle Cameron in, and apparently he's no striker, he's he's a winger. A winger, striker, I mean, uh, if you, I mean, if I'm being sh- told to play a while on the wing, I still want to get a goal. Fuck you, I'd play the goal if I've got asked, right? Um, uh, actually, I, although, I was actually, we've still not signed the goal yet, but we Harry's doing that, right? Harry, I mean, he couldn't be faulted for the goal, really. Uh, nah, I still, we'll, go, we'll get on to him, I still think we need maybe another keeper, but no, Harry's, Harry's doing that, right? Um, but uh, strikers, right? So Gary Boyer was um, on about it, and he basically said, "Yeah, so right now we've got two strikers. We've got Yakubiak, and we've got Rudden. Sheridan wasn't even uh, fucking in his sick note. He's forgot. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he's got a win for his daughter, so he's not playing. He's not finished so. reading his medical file yet. That's <laughs> what it is. Yeah. He's not recovered <laughs> from episode one when he got a burst eardrum. <laughs> um, but uh, so Boyer apparently he's not even looking at Sheridan, so that just goes to show that I don't think he's going to play for a while. Because uh, um, he was back in training the other week, was he? Uh, he's I'm sure I've seen photos of him in training. Who he's, but, um, who he's crutches. Yeah. Um, but no, so as I said, right now we've got your Kubiak and Rudin. So yeah, but he, Gary Boy was saying he's looking at other strikers. Do you think he's going to look at somebody for down south? Yeah, yeah. Um, the boys up here, we, we were on about Lee Griffiths. Don't know. I think he's going to go in for it. I think if it was going to materialise, it probably would have happened better. Um, because he's been free for weeks. He was at Dens about a week and a half ago, and still there's nothing about him in the paper mm. or that. So can't see that happening. Um, yeah, there's no na- 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 nobody really else available. I would um, go for a boy down south. I'm still surprised that nobody's willing to take a punt on Griffiths. I know. I know. I, I mentioned that. Um, to, I think it was in the group chat about Lee Griffiths the last time. I was like, would anybody talk him? And, there was loads of people were like, no, nah, no. Nah. There was a few people that were like, yeah, I'd him back. Um, but uh, loads of people aren't too keen on Griffiths. But again, me, I would, uh, I like Griffiths, but I'm surprised he's not got a team, especially, like, I'm surprised that it never worked out for him at Falkirk. Remember he signed for Falkirk? But then he was overweight. 
He wasn't. He wasn't. Was he though? I mean, well, Ken. He didn't look overweighted then, I did. thought. I think he did. No, at I, the I, end. Would, I wouldn't say he looked fat, right? Yeah. But he looked bigger than he was, yeah. which marks him slower. And he stings his pace. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, he's skillful in that. He's got a great left foot, but his pace has always been his thing. Yeah. We'll see if he gets a come out. I hope he gets a cup. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, we bring in. Uh, I want a physical striker. Not just a, a wee goal poach. I want somebody that's going to fucking. The hassle of the defence, win the headers, chase out and doom, they're hard to come by. Yeah. Um, but I uh, like. Uh, I just uh, hope he doesn't bring in somebody, kind of like any of the old journeyman strikers like Billy Sharp. Or oh, <laughs> can, can I remember about Billy Sharp? See, you never played FIFA. <laughs> he always seemed to fucking score against me. Uh, like, uh, I was like, why is he even putting Billy Sharp in their team? <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah, he's scored quite a few over the years. Watching Sky okay, Sports, he Sky Sports now, he's bust a few coupons for me actually. Um, but no, I, hopefully we bring in some of physical that could just fucking. Not just hug the bar, but as I say, the noise they'd felt like, see the boy, boy that was at Motherwell, right? Now, I, I didn't like him, right? Maybe, maybe probably because he oh, played right, against Ken, us. Uh, Curtis Main. Curtis Main, uh, right? Can you hear him, see right? a boy like that, uh, I, I do, right? <laughs> but see boys like that, they would do a joke for you, aye? Right? Um, but obviously, I want somebody a wee bit better. I'm technically more gifted than Curtis Main, but somebody's not afraid to just fucking put yourself out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so, is there anybody for the, the pre season that you think looks really sharp or doesn't look on the game or maybe he's um, no as, no as you might have expected? Yeah, yeah right. So, now, well, it's not that I'm not expected now we're going to play good, but he's been really good. Especially against Queen's Park, every in that first half that we done that was creative and was going to come to someone, it was coming through that left hand side. Whether that was him doing it for a set piece corner, which they've clearly worked on before, because the way that they're passing and moving the bat, that's not something you just do. Um, or just going down the line, cutting back and whipping it in. He, he's been really, really good. Um, we've mentioned Mulligan. Mulligan's had a decent game, I thought, again against Queen's Park. Yeah. Um, I think he's definitely more no centre midfielder and that sort of winger in the hole type role right? yeah. um, do, do you think and, like, see I thought of this about Anderson last season right see after 60-70 minutes mm-hmm. he looks sluggish his legs go yeah. I think right I think he was a bit like that the other day against Queen's so against Queen's he was I didn't actually think he had a great first half I don't mean the second half, and, but can't, look, Anderson's been great. Uh, no, I mean, no, was, he played some some good bars over the yeah, top, actually. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, but he, he did lose the he did lose the ball a couple of times in the first half. Um, but yeah, he'll be. I reckon he, he'll still play it for every week. But he, he didn't play the best game against Queen Park. I thought Anderson, right. not for his standard that he set. See, I thought the thing with him last season was I think he played too many games, mm-hmm. like because. He almost seemed to start off really well, and he's got c- quite quick feet. Yeah. But then they started; they end up being really sluggish by half time. And I just think he he wasn't getting changed enough. He was playing full games pretty much every week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was really, I think when Mark McGee came and he played on pretty much every every week as well. Every manager that's caught this you, game. You say that you mentioned Voldemort. Oh, I can't nah. believe you even brought him ah. up. Right, that's what I'm with ten on. That's a tenor. We've still not started the right. So anyway, we're going to need to do this GoFundMe page for Paul McWillan's bits. Now we've so. we've came to the, the realization that they're not actually tangerine. We think they're maybe a bit red or pink. Do or not whatever, give a fuck. Right? They look tangerine. And they do. That's, that's, that's the, the issue. Uh, they look tangerine. Right. So uh, I'll I'll throw I'll throw a tenor when I get paid. We will do it at some point, and we'll we'll. We'll let you care. We'll hear the link, we'll we'll the link on the Instagram and the uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, so again, uh, the, the Instagram and Facebook page, you'll c- catch us at the Club 12 Podcast. Uh, Make sure you're liking and doing all that stuff that you do. Again, if you want to get your photos uh, included in next week's show, um, yeah, uh, send, send the photos to us, slide uh, into our DMs. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Send us a photo. Can't you. tell people to slide into your you DMs. You can. You fucking slide right into my DMs. Um, and that's at the Club Twelve podcast on Facebook and Instagram. But uh, send in your photos. Um, if you were at the match, uh, send it in. We'll put you up on the. Uh, if there's anything the you want me to speak about, 
any specific topic about Dundee or any game or whatever, eh, send me an email. Well, no an email. A well, actually, a DM. A, a, a DM, eh, slide in with DMs. So, anyway, on for next week's show then, right, because we were going to talk, next week we're going to talk about season openers, because it's yeah. season opener next week, amazingly. Yep. Um, so, eh, uh, send us some of your favourite, or your worst season openers, have you, have you got a favourite? Uh, just, uh, well, I was going to keep it for next week. Oh, yeah, well. So I uh, well, uh, hmm. I, I I've got a bad end. Oh, I, well, I remember it right because it was one of my first ever away games, uh, but we played Clyde Bank <laughs> and we got pumped four nil. Oh, <laughs> it was fucking rotten. <laughs> but I went back next week, <laughs> so yeah, So that was definitely back. one of my worst. No, in a, in a, uh, come on, just uh, in my favourite was come on, there's probably quite a few Dundee fans watched them that would have been at this game. So I, I was out in the night before, I was in Deja, right, and there was a phone party, so I was out for a phone party. <laughs> a phone party. And I, nice. I, I, woke, I woke up on a couch at about 7 o'clock, and my phone was going, I was like, mate, the bus waits for Kilmarnock at about half eight or something, I was like, oh no, so I phoned the taxi, went to him, literally picked up my scarf, it's the only thing that I went in for, it was just my scarf, right? <laughs> went in for my scarf, came back, the taxi driver who was running me about, I think he I picked, I picked up any of my pals at the time as well um, and picked one up. He was actually going to the match, so he was going to the commandant game that day and I was telling him, oh mate, I'm out and he got a Kelly and sit on the bus. He's like, it's all right, don't worry about it. So anyway, for people who did a camp, we went to Kelly and bet them 4 nothing. Um, Outstanding. Uh, it was great, it was absolutely great. Um, and I seen the taxi driver when we scored. I think we went 3 nothing or 4 nothing up and I just looked down and I just seen the taxi driver picking up his wee boy and throwing him up in the air. <laughs> it was brilliant. Um, but yeah, that's, that, was a, that was a great day. We, we, looked, we looked unstoppable that day. Um, Greg Stewart's first goal. Did you not get a belt or a coupon up that day? Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> because it, I, mean, I was a wee, wee bit rough and obviously I had a few more beers on the bus, I forgot to put on a bet. Right, so I forgot to put on a coupon, so I was in the stand at Rugby Park on my phone, panicking. I was like, oh no, right, so I quickly put one on. Um, so I stuck on, it was just a couple of random ends. I took like Dundee 4 nothing, which was one of my random ends, and I also took Greg Stewart to score first on another random end, right? Now, on single bets, it came up and I got about 100 quid. So I was jumping a bit, like, yes, yes, just one. And then when I was sitting on the bus, it daunted to us that if I had stuck that up on one coupon, or one bet, Greg Stewart to score first and Dundee to win 4 0, I had to be up about three grand. Yeah. <laughs> because you would have got, what, at least uh, 350, nah, 400. Uh, you, you've got to Something like that. Uh. Um, so uh, that was that put a bit of a downer, but uh, that was that was a great day. We were brilliant that day. Uh, that sounds good. That but sounds uh, good. so uh, any any memories, first games, bad games, good games. Uh, give a DM. Send us in the uh, into the DMs. Um, so uh, so next week uh, it's the big opener, Park mm-hmm. Festival. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Um, Friday night. Uh, definitely going. Um, I say the couple of beers before the game. Friday. Uh, Paddock. They've been they've been alright. For the results they've been a wee bit up and down. Um I don't know I'll say this about every team in that league, I don't expect them to challenge with too much. We should be playing every team and fucking battering them in my opinion. Um because we we're, we're better. Well, as you said before, we're better than that shit. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, well, yeah. You look at every single team I think Inverness have actually done no bad. But then yeah. again, I still think that's we, the one we should be beating Inverness. Yeah, yeah. Can. That's the one the Yarra we beat AFU, especially going up there. Um, I wouldn't have put my house on Dundee, get a 3 iron victory up there. But I just bet anybody who has got a fucking ex Arab as a manager, too. Yeah. Like, fuck them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and fuck your shit, Ken. <laughs> So uh, anyway, yeah, um, but no, apparently like, we should uh, we should, we should be beating them, and hopefully by then we'll hear, and hopefully by next podcast we'll hear another striker we could speak about. Uh, um, that'll be good, and uh, hopefully we get somebody in before the party again. Because uh, again, I, st- I still think we've been a wee bit quiet on the transfer front. We've only really brought in two, two, uh, two French and Williamson. But why French? As I said before, he, he looks good. Um, so so far so good. Williamson, he looked, he looked all right. Didn't really do too much, but he got stuck in and got got the bad down and tried to play. And but another another few signings, hopefully. 
before that panic. Yeah, cool. Okay, dokey. So we're going to wrap things up. Um, thanks to everybody for listening to the Club 12 podcast. We have been sponsored by King Kong Tattoo Company, Albert Square Dundee, and some uh, final other football news from around Scotland just before we go. Hibs face being knocked out of the League Cup after fielding an illegible player against a mighty Greenock Morton. England women are brutally embarrassing their male counterparts by making it to the semis at the Lassies Euros. And Dundee United are still shite. We've been the Club 12 Podcast. Cheers. Goodbye.